This is a story of recording Rap Real Lazy in a trap house. As you know, we, well, maybe you don't know because this could be your very first video ever clicked on on this channel. But if it's not, uh, we had a song in 2009, 10, called, 10, 11. at least maybe 10, 11. Yeah, probably 10, 11, um, called Rap Real Lazy. Rap Real Lazy, it seems so crazy. I'm the cool guy that they idolize. My crew moves side to side, synchronized. Haters throw salt, I iodize. And I keep them Kimmy codes, I iodize. <laughs> I came in this thing with four bucks. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, anywho, so we have a song called Rap Real Lazy. Now, we could have recorded this song, but I had a homeboy at the Art Institute that used to always be like, hey, y'all gotta come record with me, you gotta come record with me. And I was like, okay, cool. So I told the guys, and they were like, all right, yeah, we, we can go record because we got this song, we haven't recorded it yet. So he sends the address, and we see that it's in a deep part of Atlanta. It's in Gwinnett. Stupid, stupid north side. In a deep part of stupid, stupid north side. So we drive out here and you know it starts to turn to the, to the trap area when the streets start getting a little narrower, narrow, more narrow, when like the houses, you know, you know what the, what the houses look like. I ain't, you, you, you know what the, what the trap areas look like. So then we pulled into this apartment complex so I hit him and he was he was deep in Atlanta. Yeah, like, so I hit him, he was like, Yeah, y'all, you know, y'all, y'all come upstairs. So that don't sound deep Atlanta. That sounds normal. No, I'm saying he oh, you're talking about the way I said it. No, I'm just saying he was deep in Atlanta. I don't know, like I don't, I don't I can't really remember. I just know he was deep in Atlanta. Slang I don't really know. The kid don't around the corner, man, I gotta smoke something. Hey. Man, I don't understand a word that you been saying. Uh, so we get there. First sign, screen door. Ain't got no screen. <laughs> so, that's when you know you in the right place. You want to record some, some good trap music? You, you in the right place. So, second, studio right in the living room. As soon as you walk in. Like, it's just door, studio. Ain't no, ain't no back room. Ain't no, it's just door, get to it. It's, it's for reliving your story. That's that's what that's what it's for. Then you got the kitchen. I don't even remember looking deep in the kitchen. It could have been some trap things going there. Then you got some rooms back here, but none of that mattered. I think he was already sitting in the chair ready to engineer. <laughs> as soon as he walked in the door. So I remember us playing the track, playing the track, doing doing all that, and then we start recording. Now, I feel like this was some of us first time in a in a in a studio or in like in in somewhat of a studio rapping so you have, you got to get comfortable you got to get comfortable with that type of uh environment when you when you're doing it right you know i you know i, I study audio so it was whatever i that's what i do i wake up and get to it So then he, this where stuff like, I don't like when like unknown characters come into the room and like you in an area you don't know. So this big dude walks in and he looked like he was out doing some things he wasn't supposed to be doing. I think he had a little sweat dripping down him or that could have been just because he was a bigger size dude. I don't, I don't know. He walk in, hey, what's up? You know what I'm saying? Kind of in a session. He kind of just sits in the session. And I don't really, I don't know him. I think it was his cousin or somebody like that. But in the trap house, you just gotta be, you gotta be, you gotta be careful because you don't know who looking for who, who doing what. It's a lot going on. So then he starts talking. This is where things get funny and unexpected. Him, him and 
homeboy was talking. We recording, everybody having a good little time. It's cool, we playing the stuff back. It's sounding good. We were like, oh, this is gonna be funny. You can shoot the video, all this. He starts talking about a movie he had just went to see. So, judgmentally, when, uh, when a guy in the trap house, looking as he does and wearing things as he does, you think he about to describe some, some hood ass movie that you never heard of. He like, man, I just, hey man, I just, I went to the, I was at the theater. Either he said he was with his girl or somebody, man, and I, I seen this, I seen this funny video. And we were, I mean, funny movie. And we were like, uh, what, what, what he was like, I don't know, like, it's had a bunch of these, these white bitches in it. That's what he said. We was like, what? He was like, man, I'm telling you, dog, I think it's called Bridesmaid. Funny white bitch. And at first, you're like, I'm not, I don't know. Hey, what, what, like, what? This isn't the reference. <laughs> this isn't the person I would see that was gonna be referencing this movie. And so it was kind of like, all right, cool, whatever. He wasn't lying. He got him one. Yeah, he 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 got him one. We was like, damn, he was he was he was he was for real. Like he he got him one with that one. That's just not the movie I expected to uh, to receive from from this gentleman. Um, and I just remember us recording the song. I may or may not have seen a gun laying around. I don't know. I it just, it, I think the the energy of the uh, of the trap house and not knowing where I'm at, it might have just been in my head. You didn't see nothing, did you? I can't. Oh, see, that's what I'm saying. Like it's a, it was, it's just an experience. But it was just an interesting experience to go record rap real lazy in this trap house in Gwinnett, and here it is, man, tell us about bridesmaids a movie full of white women that I didn't think he was gonna be going to watch. And that's why you shouldn't judge people because you never know what type of stuff they may be into. You gotta, you gotta, you know, you gotta just let people live their life. So that's the story of recording uh, Rap Real Lazy in the Trap House. And it's a Judd Apatow. We just wasn't, I wasn't expecting him to tell us that. I wouldn't have thought about it, but wait, because it was him, I had to see it. So maybe marketing needs to go that way. Start yeah. the market. Yeah. You don't expect to like this. That's true. That'll make more people want to watch it. I think we literally went and seen like the next, like, because he was like, he, was, he raved about it so hard that we was like, nah, we got to go and see it. Right. It's hilarious. It's hilarious. I'm, I'm sorry. It's, it's, Judd it's, Apatow movies are good. They're good. So, they Before good. that, I watched a bunch of them, but it was just something about him <laughs> and watching that movie so hard I had to see. Yeah, yeah, he got him one with that one. All right, he, he the reason I seen it. So shout out to uh, Trap Dave or Clarence or Demetrius or Tony. Brian? <laughs>